Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some homemade laundry detergent that literally takes less than 10 minutes to make. First, you're going to need some pure baking soda. You're going to need pure castile soap. You can get this in lavender or other scents, but I just like the unscented one. Some coarse kosher salt, a fourth and a half cup, some citric acid, some Arm & Hammer super washing soda, and a nice bowl to mix everything in. And then you'll also need something to mix it in. This is the jar I use to just put everything in. And then you'll see I have some packets in here. These are like silica gels, and this is gonna help keep it from clumping after it's been in the container for so long. Um, you can get these, honestly, they come in shoe boxes, in your shoes, anything like that. You can just use these and actually throw them right in there. And if they ever get too wet or too moist, you just lay them out in the sun for a day, and then you can just plop it back in. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is take this soap and you're going to want to grate it up. So either use a cheese grater or use a food processor to grate it all up as fine as you can and then we're going to put that in our mixing bowl. So this is what you kind of want it to look like. You kind of want it to look like Parmesan cheese and how I cut it up because I actually didn't have either of those options I suggested. I just used a very sharp knife and just went in and just kept cutting and cutting until I got kind of this Parmesan cheese consistency. So there's no other special thing you have to do. You just add the rest of the ingredients to it. So we're gonna do half cup of the baking soda, half cup of the citric acid, and then one cup of the washing soda, and then a fourth cup of the kosher salt. And now what you're gonna do is just take this and then mix it all together. Right now I'm using a ice cream spoon because if there's any clumps like these, I can just push down and it's easier for me to break them up with a metal instead of using like a wooden spoon. And you just wanna try to get rid of any like extra clumps that may have been from the baking soda or the washing soda and just get it as fine as you can. And that's your laundry detergent. It's literally that easy and this will last so long. If you're doing a regular size load of laundry, just use a tablespoon of this per load. If you're doing a large load of clothes and they're extra dirty, then you can use two tablespoons. But I usually only use the one and this lasted me three months. So it's actually less expensive to do this on your own. When you go out and buy like a commercial brand detergent, usually for a 50 ounce bottle, it's $16. So that's about 51 cents a load. But this homemade laundry detergent only costs 13 cents per load. So you're saving yourself a lot of extra money just by doing this simple step. And like I said, this took me less than 10 minutes to do. So I definitely advise doing that. And what you're gonna do is just open up your container that you want. And like I said, I have these right here. So I'm gonna actually leave those on the bottom. And you're just gonna go ahead and pour it in. And you just wanna make sure that you're doing an airtight container that way it doesn't get clumpy and no moisture because that's what those little packets do they take away the moisture so it doesn't get damp and it doesn't get clumpy so i would definitely advise using those packets or if you go online you can actually make your own and i'll leave a link down below if you guys are interested in doing that and there's your homemade laundry detergent i hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know down below if you guys end up making this and how you like it i absolutely love it so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video